A reunion two years in the making. The greatest homecoming on earth returned to North Carolina A&T this weekend. Aggies flocked from all over to take part in decades of tradition in Greensboro. Thousands of proud alum all showing off their Aggie pride. WFMI News 2's Daniel Cruz followed along as Jiho brought generations of Aggies back together. This homecoming is known as the greatest homecoming on earth. Spend some time at any of the events around town and you'll quickly learn why. Aggie pride. Aggie pride. This year homecoming returned for the first time in two years without any COVID restrictions. Aggie alum have showed up from near and far this weekend. The homecoming football game and the concert at the Greensboro Coliseum were both completely sold out. And it's a week long celebration. So I know that today is homecoming, but we've been celebrating it since last Sunday. We don't call it the greatest homecoming on earth for nothing. I'm out here with some friends that I actually met during freshman year. We're about to go to our first dorm, <laughs> you know, just to go down memory lane. The first a homecoming was held back in 1926. In 2020, all of the in-person events were canceled due to the pandemic. And when it returned last year, more than 40,000 people came to Greensboro to show off their Aggie pride. It's almost like family, like a reunion, just actually being able to get back together. I think my senior year, we did it really big. Brooke Steele graduated North Carolina A&T back in 2005. She says there is always something special about being back on campus, especially during GEHO. We definitely came to all the homecomings when I was in town, but when I graduated, also came back pretty much every year. Throughout the fun times, heavy hearts as the university held a moment of silence during the football game for Kanicha Turner. She was one of two killed this week during an unsanctioned off-campus block party, making safety top of mind for many. They're doing much better, um, especially once the tragedy happened this week. Um, they responded very quickly. They kind of switched gears a little bit, but in a way that didn't um, diminish the fun that everyone was having. Homecoming activities will continue tomorrow night with a gospel concert starting at 6 o'clock. This event brings in millions to the local economy. Last year, totaled about $10 million. In Greensboro, Daniel Cruz, WFMY News 2.